Welcome to this episode of The Office. Let's get into it. Thanks for being here today and a special welcome if you're new to the channel. It's a new year and I just so happen to be in a new office set up. I've been putting it together for a few months and it's finally all tuned in. Now I love these videos myself, um, so I would love to hear what you think, what you like, what you dislike, you know, what you would add or change. I would love to hear from you, your thoughts on this. Let's start over here at the desk. Uh, this is my main workhorse right here, a 27 inch iMac. 64 gigs of RAM, a terabyte hard drive, although I do all of my work on external drives. But I've been running this thing for a few years and have had no issues. It's been awesome. I absolutely love this crowning jewel right here, this 34 inch LG curved monitor. It's a 3K monitor. I do all my editing on this and my photo editing on this screen, but man, having this curved monitor up here has been so awesome and let me just say i've been using this entire desk setup for two or three years now um, and i have just absolutely loved it that i have left it the way it is even when i moved so next up we've got the jbl 306p mark ii monitor speakers they have been absolutely awesome they sound phenomenal great quality sound overall when I originally bought them, I was at a music studio and I noticed they had some. And I was like, okay, if a music studio is rocking these, I think I made a good choice. And right here, I'm sitting on an ergonomic office chair. It's a fantastic chair. It was a chiropractor recommended chair. Even after a few years on this chair, it has held up really well. Um, no issues for me on it. And then last up down here, we've got this Vivo sit stand desk. Um, it's like 63 inches long, I think, and I've got it set for my height. So when I want to stand, I'll just hit my custom setting and it raises up. This has been a great setup overall, and I recommend if you have a sit-stand desk to really work on the cable management. I've got just enough slack in the power strip down there that if I raise the desk, it has no issues. And all my cables are really, really covered well and the only way to get something covered up more than that is to involve politicians <laughs> but i think i've done a phenomenal job and when it goes back down it reveals my nice mountain scene up here my wife and i absolutely love the mountains and i should have paid extra to have it stay straight but and then i've got some sound panels on each side here these are kind of more for decor but I think it also just helps the overall room sound quality to stay well maintained. And then some of the accessories I've got on the desk. Um, I've actually got a nice leather desk mat with a wood and leather wrist guard. These are all Grove made products. They're awesome USA made uh, genuine leather. Desk mat is nice because this desk top is actually three pieces. Um, if I want to collapse it in, I can remove the middle piece. It's kind of like a table leaf. The desk mat covers that up, um, so it's, you know, more seamless up here. Moving on, we've got some just foam pads under the speakers that are angled up a little bit to kind of point them more towards my ears. I've got my memory card readers here um, and a, a USB-C extension. I added this right here, this USB extender. It's got SD card readers, three USBs, and a USB-C port. This thing is awesome. It, like, clips right into the Mac itself and it's very seamless. I highly recommend one of those if you're working on an iMac. I've got my SanDisk SSD drive here. I do all my ongoing projects on this. And then back behind here, I've got two HDD drives. I've got a 14 terabyte and a 10 terabyte just to back everything up. And I think the last thing up is my triple charger here. It does Apple Watch on top, AirPods on the back, and the phone in front, all wireless charging, which is great. So if I'm sitting at the desk, I can throw any of that on there. I've also got a Vivo arm stand for the monitor. It's an extra tall one since I wanted this above the iMac. It swivels, turns, it pulls out or back in. I think the only other thing I've got here is just a little Sony speaker, which is plugged into the monitor. 
Um, and I have that because I've actually got just an extra HDMI plug plugged into the monitor. So if I ever wanna bring like a game system out here, that is plugged in ready to go. I just hook it up and then I can game on here and have stuff like processing down here, whatever. Moving right along, we are kind of at this lounge spot. It's a new backdrop, uh, just something to switch it up. I added this couch recently, that's been nice. Uh, my wife likes to come in and hang out with me when I'm working, so that's a nice feature. And it gives me another spot to record and just have something else. Again, I've got some sound panels on each side. Um, I actually made these. Um, I'll link the sound panels, and then as far as the border, it's just one by three boards that I cut and uh, screwed and glued together. And then I just got some nice card stock on the back because the sound panels are so light. They didn't need any real backdrop. So I stapled the card stock on the back and glued the sound panels to that, um, which gave me these really nice custom sound panels. Um, I made them what sizes I want. So by the desk, I just did a one by three layout and then over here, I've got kind of a two by four setup. So something nice, just a little nice hack for you to save uh, money from buying something that fancy. Uh, next, I've got a couple accent lights. Uh, those are nice, they change colors to whatever color. They've got different settings. They even have little mics in them. So if you want to listen to music or something, they'll change light for the music and sound it hears. Uh, nothing that fancy. Um, they were just kind of affordable. So I picked a couple of those up. And down below, I've got a nice rug, nothing too crazy there. I just measured it out to fit the room. Um, it didn't quite have the exact size I needed, but it's definitely close enough. Um, and I like it, it's just kind of simple and clean. Uh, this wall is obviously black. Um, I like having a dark backdrop. Um, sometimes when I'm doing like product shoots, I will move all this stuff off just to leave the black backdrop. The paint color is called Little Black Dress. And it's actually got 11 parts of blue per like six parts black. So it's, it's like a blue tinted black. So I really like that. Um, I've got the blue couch, blue curtains to all kind of match that, that uh, color scheme. So this has been a fun addition to the office. I think this is like the main change I've had since my desk setup has stayed the same. But behind me, we've got a little more art. Um, again, I made the mountain scene before. I've 3D printed the mountains themselves and just built a frame and kind of painted it all. This is actually gunpowder art. So this was sent to me uh, like this and then I burned the gunpowder and it's like burned into this wood. So I love that stuff. I've got a couple of these pieces, but I think that's it for this section. Moving on back to kind of the entryway, there's this little nook right here. It was the perfect size for me to throw the 3D printer, as well as a few more pieces of art. I've got a nice watercolor of Jesus because Jesus es mi luz. And then I've got another gunpowder 1776 tattered flag right here. Uh, so cool. The printer is so fun to have. If you have the patience to get into it, it is so worth it. Being able to print anything from a broom holder to kids' toys. Like we print Hot Wheels tracks all the time. Uh, different, just tons of fun stuff. We've made a lot of really cool gifts out of prints. There is a bit of a learning curve, but again, if you have the patience to get into it, it's awesome. Flipping to the other side of the room now, I've got some shelves. Um, I used to use all this for just gear storage, uh, but in this office, I've got a nice closet for storage. So these have kind of opened up some more. So starting on this end over here, we've got a 2D printer for when 3D won't cut it or will take too long. Um, down there, we've got a shredder for when the 2D printer needs something destroyed. And then moving on to this shelf, uh, I've got a fun treasure chest that I 3D printed. Um, I keep like dice and some figures and stuff in here for like D&D &D game nights. Uh, I've got just a little storage case here just for like receipts and I keep my extra Apple watch bands in there. Uh, another 3D printed dice. This is a 3D printed D20 that actually holds a whole set of dice, which is kind of fun. And then I've got my laptop ready to go when I need it. Um, some inspirational reading. 
And then down at the bottom, I've got like this nice massager called a Sewrite. Uh, sometimes the muscles between my shoulder blades get really sore and that thing hits them so good. And next to that, we've got a set of Chirp Wheels. They are a Utah company, which is awesome, uh, which I didn't know until I bought these and saw that they were coming from like just up the street. So that was cool. Uh, the Chirp Wheels are really nice when you wanna hear a lot of popping, but don't have bubble wrap on hand. And moving back over here, I've got some more decor. This is a 3D printed dice tower and a buddy of mine described it in the best way I've heard. He said it was a complex solution for a very simple problem. So couldn't agree more. Uh, I've got a Grove made headphone stand holding my beats over here. I used to have this on my desk, but just for whatever reason decided to keep them over here. A little more out of the way, keeping the desk a little more clean. Uh, Grove made planter box. I've just got like a ceramic rose in there and then a nice temperature. I think it's like a Galileo or something thermometer. I forget what it's called. I'll link one below. Moving on down, we've got a set of shot glasses for all the places we've traveled, which is kind of fun because they've always got those on and there's always a bunch of designs so you can pick what works best for you. It takes hardly any storage and it's a fun way to bring back a souvenir and remember the places you've been. Crown Jewel, Calvin and Hobbes collection, absolutely fantastic. And then we've got the illustrated Harry Potter books, super cool. Uh, there's still two more to come out there. Some classic comics and then some fun geography books. And down below we've got a subscription to Crunch Labs with Mark Rober. And as you can see, we are very behind, but looking forward to doing all that. And moving right along, we wrap it up with the storage closet. Um, I took off the accordion closet doors and then just added this nice blue curtain which one acts as sound dampening and then two it matches everything else around which is pretty nice uh, super easy solution there and then i threw in a table in the closet it like barely fit it was like the perfect fit um, so i like charge gear up here i hold my camera bags i've got my gimbals tripods over here extra storage up here, like GoPro stuff, camera boxes, like turntables, smoke machine, like all that's up there. And then down here, I've got a nice Samsonite luggage and that actually holds my light kits. Um, I used a luggage bag for that because when I do travel for work, it's nice. I've got like my lights in there. Um, it's not super important to have on me when I travel, but it's the lights only take up half of that and then I throw all my clothes and stuff and like shoes or whatever in the other half and then I just check that. So it's a nice way to travel uh, with gear. And then wrapping it up over here, we've got a bunch of sweaters cause it is sweater weather still. So gotta have those on hand. So there it is. Let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, you know, what you would add or, or change. One thing I would love to hear, I had some extra sound panels, so I kind of made a checkerboard above the couch area. Let me know your thoughts on that. I can't decide if, how much I like it, if I should maybe add a little more or just take it away or change it up. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.